Two years ago, Sid Meier enthralled strategy gamers everywhere with Civilization. Now its sequel, Colonization, is upon us. After getting some serious playtime in, I have nothing but praise for the game. I don't often agree with you, but for once we see eye to eye. Colonization is an intricate, fascinating game that should delight anyone who's ever built an empire to stand the test of time. You'll start out as an explorer of English, French, Spanish, or Dutch origin, with a goal of establishing a thriving presence in the New World, and eventually declaring independence from Europe. Each country has different objectives, so you'll have different advantages depending on which flag you fly. For example, the English have access to more immigrants, thanks to that whole religious persecution thing. Building a colony will be somewhat familiar to any Civ fan. Your colonists work the land to produce food and other goods, such as cotton, sugar, and fur, which can be traded, sold, or refined into more valuable products. You can build structures to help defend your colony and increase its production. Turning colonists into statesmen produces liberty bells, which brings you closer to your goal of revolution. Ugly nationalism is the key to ultimate success. You gotta love it. You didn't work in D.C. during the Reagan years by any chance, did you? When you arrive in the New World, the natives are happy to see you. You'll find the Indians to be good trade partners, and they'll even teach your colonists skills. This will sour all too quickly, though, as your colonies grow and infringe upon Indian land. Those wacky natives wanting to have their own culture and all. Well, you can always attack their villages for fun and profit, but there's a name you should remember. Custer. Like its older brother, colonization is a great game of exploration. Regular colonists can be given horses to form scouts who can meet with Indian chiefs to obtain information and money. They can also explore rumor squares which can yield vast treasures, new colonists, angry Indians, or nothing at all. The rumor squares aren't exactly a new idea, but they do give you a feel for the romance of exploring the new world. There's no technology tree in colonization, but you can still make important discoveries. By exploring the rumor squares, you can even discover the Fountain of Youth. One of the most sought-after treasures of the new world, the fountain will flood the European docks with immigrants just dying to join your forces. You'll never need to hire petty criminals to do a master carpenter's job again. Although there will be some elements of war, Colonization is primarily an exploration and trading game. Apart from colony management, the majority of your time will be spent trading goods with the Indians, fellow Europeans, and your mother country. Knowing the needs of your neighbors is essential, but Microprose has included automated trade routes to keep this part of the game from getting monotonous. A good thing, too. Despite its small footprint on your hard drive, there's an awful lot to do. Naturally, when colonists fled to the New World to escape religious persecution, one of the first things they did was to inflict their religion on the natives. In colonization, you'll be able to send missionaries to Indian villages. If they're successful, some Indians will be converted and come to live in your colony. Be wary of intruding on their beliefs too much, though. This can lead to war, and you're penalized points from your total colonization score for each native village you destroy. War will come to you eventually, and there's not much you can do to get around it. You can be as diplomatic as you please with the other Europeans and respect the Indians every wish, but what it comes down to is that everybody wants the Americas for themselves. War is never cheap, and you'll need productive colonies and a strong economy to push the infidels back across the pond. If you manage to aggravate both the Europeans and the Indians, you're likely to find yourself cut to ribbons in a devastating multi-front war. Bad news. Fans of civilization should brace themselves now for a whole new addiction. Colonization has great depth of gameplay, tons of exploration, and an economic system that will be the envy of many strategy games to come. Sid Meier is known for developing games with lots of character, and colonization is a prime example of his unique skill. It's another classic from a company that seems to specialize in it.